Today we are going to check how I did this animation in Adobe After Effects. Kinetic Type Series by Hulk79. So we are working from the work of the legendary pioneer of cinematography, Mr. Edward Highbridge. This handsome fella here. And you have tons of GIFs and sequences from his, as I said, legendary studies. Uh, but yeah, you download one and then I have that one just here. And this is all based on having a grid, in this case, that both the numbers and the map are exactly from the same density. Because we are going to use a displacement map, but the key to this feeling very, very clean and all these numbers sitting without cutting is just having this grid. So we are going to see how we do this step by step. So here we are in an empty composition and it, it is very important to be aware of the sizing. In this case, we are working on a 1080 per 1080 format. I have here this GIF and I'm going to create a map. So I'm going to throw it here on the new composition button. And this at the moment is the size of the GIF, but I'm going to make it, as I said, 1080 per 1080. And now I'm going to scale it up. So now we are going for the mosaic effect. But instead of applying it to the layer itself, it is important that we apply it to a new adjustment layer. Okay, so the mosaic is going to sit in here. And the thing now that is very important is now is the moment where we are deciding the amount of rows and columns. So that's the density or the resolution of our grid. So this, for example, is too little resolution. We cannot understand what's happening. Uh, let's say something like 35 per 35. That's better. We can see uh, the horse and the, and the guy here riding it. So I think this is going to be it. 35 per 35. And now I'm going to start making the type animation. And for that we need to keep in mind this number here, we are going to create a new composition and this should be the same size or format as the main comp and we should divide it by 35 both vertically and horizontally that should be it and this is going to be our numbers animation Boom. the problem is that it's very very little but we zoom in and then here we are going to create create our number should be little small uh, to fit in there just nicely centered and the next thing that we need is if we open the text layer here we should go to this option animate and we are going after the character offset kind of animation on the bottom you have this character offset value we create a first griffin here and if we go forward to the end or of our timeline we can start increasing it let's say this is going to be 80 and then as a lot of times in after effects it is a matter of hitting spacebar and checking checking out how how it feels in terms of the velocity the speed this is nice so that's that but now this numbers animation needs to be into another composition that is going to be our grid okay so we drag this into the create new comp button right here and the first thing that we need is we need to change the resolution here in the composition settings because this now needs to be the same size as the main comp that's it and we are going to rename it so if you zoom out you see that this is a very little composition that is sitting in in the middle here there 
but if we go to the alignment tools and we put it on to the left and the top part of our frame we now can apply the next effect that we need the CC repetile okay this one here we throw it into our comp and now the magic starts to happen we expand it to the right so that it covers all the frame and to the bottom okay expand down and that's pretty much it okay so now we are on our main comp and we are going to throw here our number grid and then the map we created with the horse one thing that I am going inside here I forgot to mention is that it is important to have activated the sharp colors here let's go back here and if we deactivate the background we can check if the numbers are cleanly sitting on top of uh, these squares and it seems like that that's key this is feeling great so now it is a matter of coming here and looking for the time displacement I'm going to apply it to our, our grid of numbers and in time displacement layer we are going to change it to the map we created and if we hit the spacebar we already can see that this is kind of working something that I am noticing here is that uh, GIF is very hectic so if we hit this button we can make this way slower let's say something like 800 something like that and we now need to check if, if that's better in terms of the movement of the of the horse it feels better now so the next thing that I'm going to, to do is because you know uh, this time displacement is looking inside here uh, I'm going to go inside and I'm going to move or edit the animation so that it starts in the second one so we have this part here in the beginning that is blank not not filled with anything uh, so if I go back now it's a matter of playing with the maximum displacement time and I'm going to say something like two let's see what happens there and you know now it's nicer because it is looking inside and in 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 the beginning of the timeline is just empty this is really working for me so you see it is a matter of thinking about how effects deal with the image and then as you understand that this is dealing with time it is like okay maybe if I come inside and the first part is just empty this is going to allow me to create this this nice shape uh, and that's that's the thing also we can go in inside the map and because this map uh, deals with time in terms of the luminance that's like the, the grayscale we can apply here for example some levels and crush the blacks like this and get rid of some of the highlights like that and that's going to create I'm sure a kind of you know more let's say sharp image in a way so I think that's that at the end this tutorial that we are ending right now is very similar very similar to this one here the alphabet grids after effects tutorial okay I'm this is weird I'm watching my own tutorial right now okay so it's the same technique at the end but you know in this particular case we were just dealing with a with a gif that can be also a video or anything that generates a luminance map so i think this was fun let me know in the comments uh, yeah that was that thanks for watching and see you in the next one Kinetic Kinetic series. by hulk 79